Hey everybody, welcome back to another session of the Web 3.0 conference. Um, we've been having some technical difficulties, so some of the talks have been delayed a little bit. Um, but this one will be good to go uh, with Frank Royer. Um, this is a pre-recording, just so you know, as Frank isn't actually here. Um, so you can sit back, relax and enjoy it. Um, if you have any questions, you might be able to reach out to him through social channels. Um, Frank Royer is the lead of Waku Connect team at Status. And in this talk, he's going to be discussing the next level of decentralization messaging in Web3, which is a very exciting topic and something we haven't really heard much about. Um, so really excited to see Frank's talk and learn a bit about decentralized messaging. Um, so let's get this started now. And um, without further ado, here's Frank's talk. Hi everyone, I am Frank Royer, and today I'm going to talk about Waku and how it can take decentralization to the next level. So what is Waku? Um, Waku is a family of protocols and a network for private, secure, peer-to-peer -peer messaging. And we have implementations which are written in NIM, Go, and JavaScript. So it is a revamp of the previously used peer-to-peer -peer messaging protocol with Pair, but with several improvements. Whisper was a protocol that used to be included in Guess for communication and is now, now being removed. Waku is decentralized, censorship resistant, and blockchain agnostic. So why Waku? So I just mentioned Whisper. So Whisper was uh, created with Ethereum and was here to fill the decentralized messaging layer spot. And it is now defunct and has been removed from the Guess node. So Waku is here to fill the, the void. Status was actually using Waku uh, Whisper and then created Waku V1, which was a, a mod of Whisper for their uh, chat application. And now we are uh, moving towards Waku V2, uh, which is uh, an improvement. So we are building Waku as a public good for the Ethereum and wider ecosystem. Uh, it is not tied to specific token or chain. Some protocols may require smart contracts and I think we are likely to see smart contracts deployed on several chains to allow any users or different projects to use Waku. It is modular and adaptive, which, which allows us to enable various use cases. Um, so Waku enables developers to decentralize communication in their DAP. So whether you don't have communication or you have centralized communication, you can use Waku to decentralize them. Or maybe you can also use it to move some uh, smart contract actions of chain. So let's say you have a smart contract for your DAP and then some actions that doesn't need to be on chain. Um, you could use Waku to have this action done on off chain without having to compromise on decentralization. Waku and, their, and its implementations is aims to run anywhere. So we have some service node can be run in the cloud. We have a, a JavaScript node to run in the browser or even mobile phone and being able to run with different parameters so that it can run in a restricted resource environment. Uh, let's say, you know, in the browser, the browser is not always online. A uh, phone may have some uh, bandwidth uh, or capacity limitations, and work with made to be able to run in these environments. So when I just whisper, so for those who are aware of whisper or to understand why we moved away from whisper, uh, whisper had a number of um, issues around scalability, spam resistance, um, and, and running over uh, DevP2P. So for those who don't know, DevP2P is a protocol used by East one And we have moved, so what could use DP2P, like is 2 uses DP2P. Um, a specification, we have written specifications which are open source, av available for anyone to read or even improve, or um, all the code and specification are open source, and anyone is welcome to uh, propose some PRs. The, we are looking at protocols to incentivize the infrastructure and uh, entice people to run nodes, work with nodes to support the network. Um, around scalability, so we use DP2P and Gossip Sub. And we also use um, what we call content topic, which allows you to filter messages, which allows you to improve scalability. Uh, we have actually done some tests recently, and uh, work with 2 is 10 times more efficient than work with 1 in terms of bandwidth usage. And finally, for spam resistance, um, Whisper is in proof of work, which didn't really work when you wanted to run Whisper on a mobile phone and 
in the cloud because of the uh, resource computation um, difference, uh, computation power difference. So we are uh, we have created a novel peer-to-peer -peer economic spam protocol called RLN Relay that allows you to do spam resistance on any device. Okay. Yeah. So now. What protocol? So I talk about okay, Waku is a familiar protocol. So let's uh, talk a bit more concretely what protocols are available in Waku. Uh, here are a few of them that uh, I think are, are easy to grasp. So we have the Waku Relay protocol, um, which allows you to send and receive messages in a gossip based manner. So what it means is that we have maybe Alice, Bob, and Carol um, start their Waku nodes. And Alice connects to Bob, goes connect, Bob connects to Carol. When Alice sends messages, she sends uh, through Relay, she will send messages to some of her peers, including Bob, and Bob four messages that he receives to some of his peers, including Carol. So if Alice wants to send a message to Carol, she can do so via Relay without having to know uh, Carol's IP address, without being connected to Carol. Um, and that's how you can have a, a full decentralized network uh, without having to you know, have a connection to every node of the network. For nodes which run in the browser or on the phone, you are not always online, so you may miss messages from Relay. So that's why we have the store protocol, where a service node can uh, store messages they see over Relay, and mobile phone or browser node can then contact the store node and ask messages within a time window that they may have missed. Then we also have the light push and filter protocol, so that again, for environments like the browser or maybe your mobile phone, where you don't always have a reliable signal, and you may disconnect from nodes, um, because you know, because you, you lose the network uh, connectivity, then light push allows you to send messages and get act from a service node so that you are sure the message has been uh, related to the, to the network. Our filter node, filter node is to connect to a, a, a specific service node and say, okay, I want to receive messages on this given topic which are relevant to my to my DAP, and that again allows you to uh, to be aware if you lose connectivity and better manage poor connection uh, network. Um, all messages are in a Waku message format that offers native encryption and signature standards. Um, and, so our, and our implementation do implement these standards so that if you want to encrypt messages or sign them, then we have like a format ready for that. And you're, of course, welcome to do your own signature and encryption schemes at application layer. Uh, at the end of the day, Waku message contains any, it's a byte array, so it contains any kind of, of payloads that you want it to contain. And finally, Waku Air and Relay which is our peer-to-peer -peer economic spam protection, um, where users have to stake or buy a membership to participate to the network and can be can have this membership canceled if they spam the network. And that works on top of Waku Relay. So you can see our spec as uh, they are published on our website. And uh, from the website, you can also go to the GitHub uh, repository if you want to um, suggest any improvements or changes. So. Now, what can you do with Waku? Okay, what is a decentralized communication network for? What is it good for? So um, imagine, so Waku enables many use cases in a decentralized manner. I think that's the important part is that all these use cases can be done in a centralized manner where you have a third party in the middle that can control and see all the data, whereas Waku is done in a decentralized manner. So you don't have this single uh, party that can host and hold all the data and can also be censored, whereas Waku being centralized is more censorship resistant. So social media platform, so imagine a, any post, comments, and likes can be done and sent over Waku so that you don't have to have a central database to hold them. NFT marketplace, so decentralized NFT marketplace may have a, a decentralized smart contract already to, uh, to handle auctions and buy and sell. With, uh, with Waku, you can take some of these events of chain. So for example, you do an auction, maybe you don't want every bidder to put their bid on chain have to pay gas for that but instead maybe the bid could be done over waku um, and so the, the seller can receive the bid over the waku network and then when it's time to sell take the bid and put it on chain to uh, confirm the sale dap to wait communication so if we have both dapps and wallet integrating waku then we could use that for maybe notification or messages done within the wallet so that the user can be aware of events happening in the dApps without having to open their dApps all the time and just open their wallet and receive events from the various dApps in the wallet. 
state channels. So state channels, uh, for those who don't know, Alice and Bob create a channel by, by locking money uh, on the chain and then creating IOUs and sending them to each other. So here again, Waku can be used to transfer this IOUs uh, and in, this, in, this, in a decentralized manner. Gameplay communication. So we had a, we did some hackathon last year and we had a great uh, submission, which was a card game where each user put the card face down and then turns the card over. And depending on the card characteristic, one player wins. And so the card game was done over, the, over Waku, meaning that the move sending the cards to the other players and all the moves were communicated through Waku, which means that this game was pretty decentralized. Um, layer two communication. So many layer twos today have started with a, a quite centralized architecture to then move later to decentralized one, where they have you know, a signal coordinator or aggregator to aggregate transactions. So what could be used to decentralize some of these layer twos um, and, and exchange information or exchange transactions over the Waku network without having to create a new decentralized um, network, communication network. Uh, chat Messenger, so Status App is a chat messenger, decentralized chat messenger, and uses Waku for that. Generalized Marketplace, imagine a decentralized Uber, decentralized Uber Eats, a decentralized eBay or Gumtree, where people are able to make offers, take offers uh, of different products and services in decentralized manner, and having this done by exchanging these offers over Waku. Uh, finally, is the signature exchange for multi signature wallets. So today, if Alice, Bob, and Carol um, have a multi sig wallet together, so they all need to sign, let's say they all need to sign uh, for transaction to go out. To exchange signatures, you will either need to put them on chain, meaning that everyone has to pay gas for it instead of having gas just for the transaction. Or you can use a centralized indexer, as some of the popular multi sig wallets used today, meaning that indexer can be. Uh, it's centralized, it, is, it could be one point of failure. Uh, with Waku, you can have a, you can do it in a decentralized manner and have Alice and Bob send signature over Waku and then Carol sign and push the blockchain. So these are different cases that can be done uh, using Waku in a decentralized censorship resistant manner. So we are part of the status network. Um, and this is VAX, the VAX division, it's the VAX, we are the VAX division, which is working on Waku. So VAX team is looking at uh, protocols, Waku protocols, it's a research effort to uh, design um, the protocols. We have NIMWAKU, which, are, which is our client reference implementation of Waku and can be used to run Waku uh, in the cloud as a service node or even um, as a library on a native desktop environment. And then we have Waku Connect. So let's jump into uh, Waku Connect. So Waku Connect is Waku for dApps. So it is all the tools and libraries and documentation you need to integrate Waku in your dApp and leverage the Waku network for your dApp. Dapp or web app, of course. So JS Waku is a Waku implementation in TypeScript that allows you to run a Waku node in the browser. Well, we have Waku Connect, Paul, Vote, and chat SDKs, which are all written in React uh, and TypeScript. So the Paul SDK allows you, to, allows you your token holder, so you can you know, configure the SDK to choose any ERC20 token, and allows you to uh, allows your users to create polls and answer these polls in a decentralized manner. For the vote SDK, um, is to create proposals on chain, but having the voting done off chain over Waku, and then the DAO could take all the votes and submit them on chain, which means that people who vote don't have to spend gas. And chat SDK allows you to integrate an end-to-end -end encrypted uh, chat feature in your DAP to have one-to-one -one messages, private groups, or even public groups. And finally, we have our website, which is uh, our doc website, which contains guides and docs on how to use Waku. At the moment, we have vanilla JS and React JS examples, and we are going to add Angular very soon. So last year, so we are in January, so let's talk about 2021 uh, highlights. So we, we made our specs and in Waku uh, much more mature. And Waku V2 got into production with Wallet Connect 2.0. Uh, as you can see, the tweet on the right. So Twitter uh, recently integrating Ethereum uh, for the NFT profile pictures, for example. And they use Wallet Connect. And Wallet Connect uses Waku, so which was a, a great, uh, great event for us. Um, we created Waku Connect and all the browser uh, suite. 
and we did some testing and we started and we started to uh to write some white papers for LRN relay which is our economic spam to spam uh, economic spam peer to peer protection um so I mentioned VAC so VAC is a division of status so I uh, just wanted to mention that so we focus on research and we aim to operate as a separate agnostic entity and um, have status as one platform using Waku. Uh, we are building for Ethereum and the wider ecosystem. Uh, we are currently funded by status, but our aim is for Waku to be used by uh, many projects and many dApps. And that's why we are not tied to a specific chain or not tied to a specific uh, platform. You can use Waku in the browser. Um, and it is separate from status from this point. And the way that you don't have to use status app or anything like that, uh, Waku can work in any environment with any token. There is no token, and when there is smart contract, you can, or when you need a token, then you can use any token you want. Um, yeah. So if you want to try Waku today, want to play with it, um, the best way is to go to the Waku Connect documentation, which is doc.wakuconnect.dev. You are welcome. So I will not be uh, available for uh, this live presentation, but you can come to our Discord, so the VAC Discord, and I'll be here to answer any question you may have. And we are at the beginning, so we are very happy to spend a lot of time on support and helping uh, people grasp the concept behind Waku and how to use it. You can learn more about VAC on our VAC website and about Waku Connect on the Waku Connect website. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. For your time uh, again if you have any questions please join me on discord and i'll be happy to answer any of them bye no yeah, thanks very much everybody there's plenty more panels and talks going on at the moment um and the technical difficulties seem to be fixed um so if you want to jump over to those, get involved in the sessions, leave some questions, and make sure to tweet out as well if you're enjoying any of the talks. We'd love to hear what it is about the conference, about the talks, the speakers that you're enjoying. All right. So see you all in the next one.